in today's SST class, we are going to learn lesson number nine. Up you go. In this chapter, we are going to know about mountaineering. So, children, do you know what is mountaineering? It is an attempt to climb mountains. Uh, well, it requires lot of preparation. Like uh, you should be fit, you should have uh, stamina. It requires lot of exercise, stretching, and climbing experiences. So, children, in this chapter, we are going to learn about the concept of mountaineering and the risk associated with it. And we are also get to know about the precautions to be taken during climbing the mountains. Let's learn more about mountaineering. Mountaineering is an adventure and it can be divided into three parts. First, scrambles, second, rock climbing, and third one is the ice climbing. Now, children, I'm going to tell you about Bachendri Pal. The first Indian woman to climb the Mount Everest is Bachendri Pal. So let's learn about her. She was the fifth woman in the world and she climbed Mount Everest on 23rd May 1984. She joined Nehru Institute of Mountaineering that is in Uttarakhand. Mountaineers face different kind of risk and dangers while climbing such as falling rocks and blocks of ice, falling of climbers, ice cracks, weather conditions and altitude sickness. Let's learn more about this chapter through a PPT. Just have a look. Students, in this chapter, we are going to know about the concept of mountaineering and the risk associated with mountaineering. We are going to understand about the various institutes of teaching mountaineering and we will also learn about the precautions to be taken during mountaineering. So, let's begin the chapter. First of all, we are going to know about adventurous human beings. You must have heard Wright brothers who invented the aeroplane. Next one, Neil Armstrong. He was the famous astronomer. Next, Vasco da Gama. He was famous sailor. Last but not least, Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay was the famous mountaineerist. The most common thing among all these persons was they were all adventurous by nature. They all got new thrills and excitement while undertaking their adventurous voyage. So let's know about mountaineering. Mountaineering is an attempt to climb the mountains. Mountaineering requires a lot of preparation. Like mountaineers have to go under hard training before climbing. Full physical fitness is the key mantra. The following exercises that help mountaineers to train in a better way are racing, swimming, cycling, rowing, etc. They help in building the stamina of mountaineers. Now, mountaineering can be divided into three forms. Mountaineering is an adventure and can be divided into three forms. Scrambles, rock climbing, ice climbing. So, let's discuss first one, scrambles. This is the most basic form of climbing rocks involving only the use of one hands and feet without any special equipments and tools. Now the next one is rock climbing. It involves knowledge of rope handling. A group of climbers climb the mountains as a team using nylon rope. The nylon rope helps to hold each person climbing the mountain. The rope it is is attached to the choke by means of snap rings called carabiners. The remaining climbers use an ascender device that alternatively grips and releases the nylon rope as the climber climbs further up. This is all about rock climbing. Now let's move to the ice climbing. In ice climbing, the climber climbs rocks covered with ice. 
he uses following to climb first crampons he wears specialized climbing boot that have spikes on the sole these grip the snow and ice next one is helmet mountaineers wear helmet to protect themselves from falling rocks they also wear a pair of dark snow goggles to protect their eyes from the sunlight being reflected from the ice and the last one ice ex this is also used by ice climbers beside these mountaineers carry oxygen cylinder sleeping bags and many other items of daily use along with them now students let's discuss risk and dangers involved in mountaineering mountaineers face the following risk and dangers while climbing they include first one falling rocks and block of ice mountain rocks slowly break down due to various acts of erosion due to this very recent pieces of rocks and ice block often fall with great speed endangering the safety of mountaineers second one falling of climbers climbers often slip and fall because of natural factors including ice cracks or avalanches a sudden flow of large mass of snow or ice with great speed down the slope of a mountain is called avalanche many climbers lost their lives when they were trapped and buried in avalanches in the mountains third point ice cracks these are big ice cracks in the mountain they are not visible as snow freezes on the top sometimes the mountaineers cannot locate them and fall into them fourth one mountaineers mostly feel altitude sickness as we climb up the mountains the atmospheric pressure decreases and the availability of oxygen in the air also decreases many climbers face altitude sickness the common symptoms are severe headache sleeping problem nausea and lack of appetite etc last risk is weather condition on mountain the weather condition change very fast threatening the life of mountaineers white out is a weather condition in mountains in which visibility becomes very poor Thun thunderstorms may produce lightning many climbers are often caught in such storms these risks are faced by the mountaineers now let's come to the guidelines needed for an expedition students like you have to follow some guidelines for completing their school projects mountaineers too have to follow certain important guidelines before the climbing begins so what they are just have a look undergo a medical test to make sure that they can climb for several hours at stretch undergo proper training third one make sure that proper protection is provided from snow blindness frost bites and sunburn and the last and the most important check the level of their physical fitness now come to the next part here we are going to know about famous women climbers like bachendri pal santosh yadav dr harshwanti bhisht and ricky dolma so children let's know about bachendri pal she was the first indian and the fifth woman in the world who climbed the mount everest on may 23 1984 bachendri pal who became famous overnight was born in 1954 grew up in the garhwal area of uttarakhand she joined nehru institute of mountaineering 
that is in Uttarkashi and was trained under the guidance of Brigadier Gyan Singh. She hoisted the national flag atop the mountain peak at 1.7 p.m. Bachendri Pal was almost bu buried under the snow. But Bachendri Pal and another team member went ahead climbing slowly and steadily and then she became the first Indian and fifth woman in the world. Now let's explore and discover adventurous voyage to Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the world's highest peak having a height of 8,848 meters. It is in Nepal. It was first conquered by Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay on May 29, 1953. In Nepal, it is known as Sagar Matha, which means Ocean Mother in Sanskrit. There are two climbing routes to climb Mount Everest. Mount Everest remain covered with snow throughout the whole year. It is located on the border of Nepal and Tibet. This is all about chapter 9, Up You Go. So children, now read the chapter carefully, underline the difficult words and find out the meanings of difficult words also. Thank you so much.